Google, Google, Google is your best friend, you guys, when you're trying to figure out information that you don't know, apart from like my channel. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So you guys, I've been getting this question, how did I get my shadowing hours? Um, and honestly, I didn't realize that, um, you know, people are having a difficult time finding shadowing hours because I was a lot, like I was really privileged, you guys. So um, I want to make this video so that I could just better help you all just kind of navigate trying to get hours because many schools require that you shadow a PA. So that is what this video is about. So my first thing that I wanna tell you guys to do is build relationships. So you're definitely um, not gonna just be like, hey, like, I wanna be a PA, you're a PA, like, let's be friends. Like, that's not, that's not building a relationship. If you know a PA, if you see a PA at an urgent care or you've been to an ER and you see a PA, you know, just reach out. Uh, PAs, like the majority of them, they love to help. So definitely just reach out and be like, hey, you know, I'm really interested in this profession. Is it possible for me to get your email so I can just ask you a little bit more questions? Rarely will any of them say no because everybody they all for the most part want you to know about the PA profession and I mean if that was me I would feel like super privileged that someone is asking me about the PA profession so build some really good relationships with PAs and then that will help you my number two thing for you to do is to definitely Google, okay, I looked at, um, I've Googled so many different things. I'm like, okay, how do I get shadowing hours? Um, I need to get some shadowing hours, PAs that I can shadow. Uh, Google, Google, Google is your best friend, you guys, when you're trying to figure out information that you don't know, apart from like my channel. <laughs> definitely need to go to Google, okay? So um, Google, I want shadowing hours, getting shadowing hours for a PA. I know I saw a website not too long ago that apparently like linked up PAs with PA students um, or pre-PAs that wanted to get shadowing in. So I definitely feel like um, there are resources out there and then there are services, like there are people who provide services that actually pair you with the PA for a cost of course but um you know if you have the funds to do that and again if you're really motivated to be a pa and you're able to afford it then go ahead and put your time and your money into that because um i know that they do get like that's a surefire way for you to actually get shadowing hours and then help with your personal statements and your prerequisites and all of that information so google those website google those services and that will definitely help you as well and I know that some of you live in like remote areas so maybe the one with respect to the actual service might be more beneficial to you than just googling um, the website that pairs you with PAs because they don't necessarily have PAs in all of um, the cities or in every state so that's a little tidbit of information for you if you're in a remote or rural area and then finally I mean I know it kind of like seems like oh okay like it's like for real Adana like you're just gonna tell me to go ahead and do some research yes you guys go do some research okay I'm always telling you guys to do your research so when I was um, looking at trying to get shadowing hours in before I said huh I have a friend that's a PA I went ahead and I looked at all of the different hospitals I called around I tried to get in contact with PAs my husband like my husband when he would take our kids to um, their doctor's appointment if I was working or something and he saw a PA he was like oh my wife wants to be a PA hey um, can I get your card can she shadow you like just do your research. There are many, many PAs out there. All you have to do is call around. Call around to teaching hospitals. I know that some of them require like an affiliation or you know require you to be in a school and then they, for them to get an affiliation with that school, but not all of them do. So all you have to do is step out on faith and call. Just make the call, do the groundwork because if you make one call and then you get shut down, it's like, oh, all right, well, 
how am I going to get shadowing hours? No, make some more calls. Make the second and third and fourth call because maybe on that fourth or fifth call, you might get in contact with somebody who can make that happen for you. So definitely do your research, you guys. Um, research is also your best friend when you're trying to get any type of information about school, jobs, work, whatever it, whatever it may be. But specifically PA school and getting shadowing hours, you definitely need to just search around because there are many many places that will allow you to come in for an hour or two to get some shadowing experience in and then right there once you go in and you shadow you're building relationships and who knows they might be the ones that write you that bomb recommendation letter that you're gonna require in one or two years for PA school so I hope that these helped um, if you have any questions with regards to this topic go ahead and just shoot me an email or hit me up on Instagram at Adana the PA um, and I will be sure to answer those um, as quickly as I possibly can. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!